Greetings from D-Lab. Another weekend. And on the bench today I have a Marshall VS65R amplifier. It's a combo amp. We've got the chassis pulled out. The symptoms are no output. The amp powers. You get a little bit of a buzz out of the speaker, but no audio. So let's investigate it and hopefully find out what's causing the problem. Alright, so normally when these come into the shop with this situation, I usually go right to these output jacks here that you see. These are your send receive jacks, there's an audio out jack, whatever. But the culprit usually is the receive jack. These contacts right here become a little bit corroded and you lose continuity and it kills the preamp signal. Well, I checked it. That's not what it was. So let's move on. So next step, we'll power up the amp, okay? And what I normally do is I take a little insulated rod and I'll tap around, see if I can find something sensitive. And I did that on this board. I was going along down here, got in this area, and I started hearing something on these resistors. Of course, it won't do it now. But as I move these resistors, it was cutting in and out. Hear it? Hear it? Okay. These resistors, the leads, have fatigued and the solder connections are bad. So to repair it, unfortunately, I'm going to have to take all the knobs off, all the nuts, this, that, and the other thing, pull the board out. Let's flip it upside down and take a look at those connections. Alright, the knobs are removed. I'm getting ready to pull these nuts off, but what I want to show you is, you see all this grime, hairs, all this crap all over these knobs and the front plate? After you get the board out, this is the perfect time to take a little Windex and clean her up. Alright, so I had the board pulled, flipped over, okay? In this area right here is where those resistors are. Now if you look, you'll see that these foils are slightly discolored. And the reason is, is the leads here cracked. It's been generating heat because they've been arcing. I'm going to get underneath here and move them. Hopefully you can see what I see. Leads are flopping around. So let's get these soldered up. Alright, solder time. Here we go. I've got my iron set at about 650 degrees. You go to one side of the resistor, get the solder flowing. You'll see the solder move around the resistor. Boom! You're done. Okay? That's all you have to do. This isn't the old bigger the glob, the better the job. Okay, guys? Just get it on there. When you see that solder moving, you're done. You hit these, and then I'm going to inspect the rest of the board and see if we spot any others. So if you don't have one, I'd highly recommend you buy a nice magnifying lighted lamp. Like this one, this is a Luxo, and it's a five times magnification. It works beautiful. So I always go through and I inspect the board. Pay particular attention to pots and any components that carry current, like those big resistors, because they're always the first ones to crack. So as I stated earlier, now is the perfect time to wipe down that front panel. It may not seem that important, but it's a good opportunity, and your customer will be very happy when he gets a clean amp back. All right, one thing I need to point out, Reinstallation of this board is tricky because this transformer causes an interference fit here on the board. If you force it, you're going to break it. All right, So you're going to have to be very nice, have some finesse. You're going to pull this front panel back until you clear the transformer, then the board will fall down in. We have output now. I've got an audio generator hooked up. I'm just injecting a tone, okay? And there's another problem that I wanted to point out. You hear that... Uh, little tone there. Now watch when I move the treble pot. It's good. It's dead. And it's good there. But the mid sweep of the pot is dead. Let me show you why. So I'm sure this is not going to be easy for you to see on camera. So put some light on it, okay? So right here is the treble pot. And if you look back here at these ears, you'll see they're pushed out. It's because that pot 
at one time in his life took a hit. So the plastic is actually pushed forward. See how I can push it in? So all we have to do is push on these ears and get that pot back together and it'll fix it. Well there it is. Another patient leaves the ER room of D-Lab. It's working, but you can tell this amp has been road hard. But it's a Marshall. She'll keep on going. Hope you like the video.